on demo sites like this, you'll often see frame per second counters, um, which kind of show you the performance of the website. It's quite low at the moment on this site because I'm currently doing a, a screencast. Um, but it's useful because as you navigate uh, the demonstration, you can see you know, the frame per second, see if you're fr dropping any frames, you can see the, how smooth it is and so forth. And it's useful for debugging and figuring out like basic performance of a website. Um, but on a regular website, which isn't a demo site, you're not going to get this kind of, no one's going to ever put a, a frame per second counter in there. Well, in Internet Explorer 11, we now have a new feature. If you press Control, Shift, and U, it will add in what we call the performance dashboard. And this gives us a number of metrics. Um, you can move this little performance dashboard around the screen. But it gives us a number of metrics about the website that's currently running. And so it gives us things like paint time. And this illustrates the time it takes your page to render the changes that have been made to the DOM. You've got frame rate, and this is how many frames per second the website's currently rendering. Memory, this is how much memory uh, this current website is, is using. And then CPU usage, which shows you the processing power that's being used by the site. You can click on any of these and it'll graph the information. Uh, you can see frame per second rate, uh, the memory usage. Um, you can always use the F12 developer tools and do a proper performance trace using the UI responsiveness tool. So you can do a profile and then you could navigate uh, the whole website and so forth and actually get a good full on report of the performance of your web page. Okay, so that's the performance dashboard in Internet Explorer 11.